So today is Thanksgiving Day. And what are you thankful for? Some people are thankful for health and strength and life and, and peace and security, etc. But you know, I, I'm thankful for these five here. Uh, the president and his uh, extended family. Um, traditionally, um, they had been extend, it's extended to have in India and in Africa and other parts. But uh, reality in America today, you know, you might grow up with a family, six of you. I mean, how extended that family could be. they are just two moms and two dads, you know, two grandparents as well. And uh, they can't share amongst all, but nevertheless, um, they're with none. They're hiding some old person's house or um, trying to exit out in the loneliness someplace. Whereas these people have some significant resources and, and information that they could even help the parents as well as the uh, children. And in this case here, uh, we have grandma, you know, making sure that these young girls here study the work and, and stay away from a whole bunch of other uh, traps that have trapped other people in that same house. But also I'm thankful that um, well, this is a, 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 a kind of uh, a new lesson, or it's a revival of an old lesson in which um, we shouldn't discard old folks. Um, I mean, of course, you meet many of them on the street trying to buy drugs, or trying to you know make some money by you know doing private dances and uh, touring all over the place and carrying on. It's a selfish life, but uh, if they will be willing to dedicate their lives to uh, excellence in the grants and to teach. Uh, what they've learned from uh, the mistakes they've made with their parents, I think that'd be great. But also, I'm thankful that the, um, the, the president won a second term. I'm thankful for the next four years of relative peace. Um, you recall in the past, uh, in many countries, um, elections are um, precluded by some war, something to start someplace. And, or killing and all that stuff, and somehow, some way, folks believe that that's the ideal way to win an election. I've seen it playing out in the Middle East. But um, there's no war that was started, and uh, those that were engaged in the Middle East were done uh, reluctantly. However, um, you know, it's a resounding um, re election, and I hope that folks are catching on that you don't have to be in a war to really win. Now, if you have to go to war to win, like George Bush, I mean, that's significant in that. Um, you know you're going to lose, and um, you're lost anyway, even if you win, because um, it's not about me and others. It's about how God sees it. God knows everything, and he is judging things. And um, as we saw at the end of his reign, uh, the, all, the world almost collapsed. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure that at the end of Obama's reign, the world wouldn't be on the verge of collapse. It would be in a better place. And I do hope that in the next four years, folks will be smart to look beyond politics and party and look for the candidate who is going to be loyal to America, who's going to be willing to put America first. And so this Thanksgiving Day um, 2012, uh, again, I'm thankful um, uh, for the Martha's table. And um, those goodies over there, we can just close our eyes and, and visualize we partaking in this um, delicious and nutritious uh, you know, fairs that uh, are um, for the taking on that table. And so again, I'm thankful to be alive, I'm thankful to be in my right mind, good health, um, and to uh, be in Puerto Rico. And most of all, to have seen um, the president win again and win clean, no set of uh, intrigues with wars, no intrigue with playing games with uh, the brink of poverty or, or, or destruction and so on. So I'm, I'm really, really happy today. By the way, I, I went to bed early last night. I got up early this morning. I made a couple of videos. And then I went back to bed. I got a 10 o'clock. And as soon as I opened my door, I fell asleep. Man, in the past over there, there's food. <laughs> so I went over and I got me some of that turkey. And then opposite me, there's a more turkey again. So while I'm living alone, and um, by the way, another lady down the road said, I'm going to bring you, I want you to come over by me for Thanksgiving. I said, well, I'll be busy. I'll be working or something like that. Say, well, I'll drop you off some lunch. So uh, there you go. I'm thankful for all of these experiences.